Howdy. So, before we get into this reading, can you do me a favor and let me know in the comments below how you are just doing, right? I really do want to know. I like to check in with my peeps. So, uh, let's just get into this reading, y'all. Hey, girl. Hello, my beautiful Leo. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot reading, Leo. So if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below which tarot cards do and how they do, because that is how I keep up with you, Leo, is through the comments uh, as well. Uh, Leo, I just would like to ask if you enjoy this tarot reading or you just enjoy my vibe, Leo. I'd really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help out my tarot reading channel a lot. And I am super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to support my tarot reading channel in that way. Um, but before we get into this weekly reading for you, uh, uh, Leo, today, I would like to let you know to use your intuition. Let's put it in perspective, Leo. Just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the tarot cards that resonates and leave what doesn't, because I promise you I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever, Leo. I believe my tarot cards here are just here to give you some food for thought, a perspective to consider, but never making the choice in your life, because it's your, it is your life to live, uh, Leo, not mine and not these tarot cards. So, all that being said, let's get into your weekly reading. But actually, before that, Leo, I just want to address the elephant in the room, or what at least I noticed anyways. I got my eyebrows pierced last week, so Piercer said I could get a black eye, and if I bruise easily, honey, clearly I bruise easily, I guess. And so I'm in the process of kind of getting a black eye. So if you're wondering what's going on right here and why this eye looks like it's half closed, that's why, honey. But now, let's get into your reading. <laughs> Leo, I pulled some cards for you just so I could get an idea about what's going on with y'all, with your current situation. Uh, you guys have the moon card, number 18, equaling to 9. So write down the number 9, Leo, for to look up later on to see how the reading, or the number 9, resonates with you during this week, or how it just coordinates with this reading for you. But it, for those also, the, uh, depending on your belief system, uh, Leo, Archangel Haniel, would be a wonderful angel for you to work with this week. Uh, but let's get into the moon card. Read it off. It says, the moon card says important psychic insights, uh, events behind the scenes, and releasing fears that hold you back. Now, you also have this paired with the Knight of Fire for you, Leo, uh, or the Knight of Wands in normal tarot. This card says a sudden event that needs immediate attention, time is of the essence, and thinking things through carefully, Leo. So, this kind of gives off such an ominous message when you think about it, Leo, because it's kind of showing to me where it's just like something's going to be, because the moon illuminates things, right, Leo? So it's showing to me where it's something that's like going, that's been going on behind the scenes. Uh, I kind of see it revealing itself this week uh, to you. Leo, I kind of see this sense of where it's like it catches you off guard and, you know, I mean, as the Knight of Fire says, this time of is of the essence. So it's like once it's revealed to you, kind of need to address it in that moment. You kind of can't pretend like it's not happening. So it's interesting, though, because with this sense, there's this when you have with the moon card saying it's like release the fears that hold you back and then you have the knight of fire talking about that action and really want like it usually symbolizes that forward movement uh this almost just like for some of you leos you're kind of a uh, paralyzed i don't want to say paralyzed with fear because that gives such a negative connotation right but it's almost like for some of you leos um because the situation is so important to you or uh, just because of how um, stressful it might be. Uh, and I don't want to say stressful in like a bad way, Leo. Here's the thing. This could be stressful in just like a good way where it's just like you don't want to mess up the opportunity, right? Because your other cards, the clarifying cards, are all really good cards. It's very interesting how these cards are, actually. But um, with this, there's just like a sense of whatever is revealed to you, you may not feel like you're going to be able to handle it. If you're going to be up for the task, right? And so something that you need to just have a conversation with yourself, Leo, is just having that pep talk and be like, hey, like, 
you know, just reminding yourself of your power, Leo, right? Because it does seem to be like you would be your biggest limiter um, in this situation. It doesn't seem to be addressing other people or anything like that. It just seems to be talking about releasing you, Leo, needing to release fears that are holding you back, not really needing you to release people or situations this is all about just you saying like spirit speaking like in a way where it's just like you can handle this leo don't tell yourself you can't handle this just you know take this head on whatever comes out into the light for you so then i talk about the clarifying cards for you leo let me show you the cards first and then we'll just break them down one by one uh we have the ten of water or the ten of cups we have the ten of earth or the ten of pentacles we have the Ace of Fire, or the Ace of Wands. We have the Three of uh, Earth. And then we have the Ace of Air, or the Ace of Swords. So you have two Aces and two Tens. <laughs> tens talk about usually cl the completion of cycles. Aces, when they're paired up in such a way, is usually an, an, an extremely affirmative message of asking you to go forward with something. It's like usually for those Leos that are looking for a sign that's like a yes or no, when you have two Aces paired together, it's very much so a yes. And then we have those Tens there, this probably speaking on like, yes, it's time to like wrap up some type of situation. Um, that's more so just like without you and reading like the details of the cards, Leo. That's more so just like the symbolism. Or at least that's how I see the perceive the cards, right? Um, other tarot readers may not even see that. <laughs> so take that with a grain of salt, honey. But uh, which card do we even want to start addressing with first? Because this is a lot of, you got four or five cards here, but all each cards are just like heavy hitter, hitter messages here. So it's kind of like a, a little bit overwhelming here. I'm not going to lie in trying to address this. Let's talk about the Three of Earth first and foremost, because I do feel like this is what's going to be revealed to you, right? Because these are the clarifiers for your Moon card and your Knight of Fire. So this card says the power of creativity, recognition for high quality work and to be a team player. So, Leo, whatever is coming forward, you know, Three of Pentacles or the Three of Earth also speaks highly on uh, contracts as well. So really good uh, for week for my Leos interested in contracts, collaborative energies, heavy. It's, I mean, that's what the be a team player is for, is like a collaborative sense. So it does show to me this week, Leo, that some type of opportunity is going to uh, be coming forward to you to... Um, Give you the chance to work with it's, it's i don't want to say work right well i guess we'll say it it does give you the chance to really uh collaborate or connect or work with something that you normally um that would be actually really big for you because uh, it does seem to be affecting a lot of facets of your life um almost and this is where we get into those uh heavy hitting cards now it's revealed to you with this three of pentacles it affects your ten of earth and your ten of water, right? So we'll talk about these. I'll read off these cards. Ten of water. It says a contented and rewarding family life. Your emotional and material needs are met, and uh, trustworthy relationships. And then your ten of earth says a very happy family life, financial security, finding the magic and little things in life. So this is these two cards here very much so is talking about like your family uh energy you're very much so just like your close circle of people leo it does seem to be promising this sense of just extreme fulfillment for you whatever that three of pentacles like collaborative thing comes to light for you it just seems to be overall like extremely good news coming in the way for you but that good news comes attached with like stuff that you kind of need to address in the moment almost but whatever this good news is it brings forth a lot of stability in your life but not but a lot of stability in your life but also a lot of like emotional fulfillment right so whatever that through again whatever that three of pentacles is now it could just be like you coming into collaboration and communicating with like a person that gives you closure into situations right um good closure in a sense where just like bearing like a hatchet of some sort that then just allows you to uh what have you with that connection right 
but I really do get this sense with the Three of Pentacles here, or the Three of Earth rather, with this dynamic, I do get this sense that it's almost just like, hmm. Leo, I would, I just want to say, prepare for something pretty big. I know this is like in such dramatics, but <laughs> it really does show to me that like some type of opportunity, some type of contract you're being presented with is a really big moment for you guys. It's a really big moment that really um, rewards you, but then it not, it not only rewards you, but it really helps you grow as a person and really challenges you creatively. It really inspires you to go forward because then we have these ace cards coming. I'm sorry, anytime I start talking a lot, honey, start retaining that air and burp try to come out, honey. <laughs> but um, we have the ace of fire coming in here, which says an exciting new opportunity, which I was talking about career advancement and changing your life now, paired with the ace of air saying brilliant new ideas and inspirations seeing the truth in a situation and a challenging new beginning so you see what i mean remember uh leo all these cards are based off of i can't help but feel like i called you all sagittarius earlier leo hopefully they didn't um but as a remembering uh leo that these cards are all clarifying your knight of fire and your moon card so what is being revealed like this is why i'm saying like whatever is like it sounds ominous but whatever is being revealed to you really like ramps up to be something really beautiful so let's just say as an example like for some of you guys maybe you put your audition in for something leo um an audition actually would be such a perfect example for this where it's just like you put yourself out there and you've just been waiting to hear the results you've been waiting to hear back from somebody right and then you kind of feel you find out that you they actually love you and like they love your audition what have you and then it just opens up such a beautiful opportunity for you leo to do whatever right like and it would make sense as to why that would affect your like f fulfillment and like your finances and stability and all that because it does it's an insane opportunity for you and the ace of air ace of fire emphasizes just like the in impact that it has for you right because this is very much so like this is your moment um very dramatic but like i know everything i'm saying is very dramatic but you guys got very dramatic heavy hitting cards as i was saying uh <laughs> leo so uh whatever you remember i want to like hone in on like the messages that the ace of fire says right an exciting new opportunity is on the way career advancement hello honey change your life now so it's like your life is really going to greatly change and whatever this comes in like it's just like you're being inspired almost right you're finding new inspiration and challenging new beginning right it's really all these cards are really framing it in such a way for you leo where it's just like this opportunity coming for you like your life it just completely changes <laughs> like i don't know how else to really like put this right i feel like these cards are just they're very flashy cards but it's like very good flashy cards to have um so yeah take that as you will uh leo really good cards so uh now let's get some cards on uh just some advice for leo this week let's, let's see what advice spirit has for leo this week on how to just carry themselves what they should be doing or what they could be doing rather let's see what advice they have we have for leo this week let's see take these and then this one all right leo so the advice we have the advice we have coming in for you we have the devil card coming in ten of cups following you as well as the moon card following you so with all these blessings coming in the advice that you were having for you is there is something that's kind of with this i feel like this kind of repeats the same message from before um leo in that this moon thing whatever ends up being revealed to you leo um i just get this sense here that this with this devil here this is the only thing that's going to stop you from like your happiness this is going to be like what impedes you from getting to that end goal with that ten of cups where it's just that extreme fulfillment and having like that family life right having the close people around you I mean, just really just 
overall just like an extremely fulfilling card right just doing what it is that you want doing and how you want it right with this devil here i kind of feel like this comes in as the shape of like insecurity or just unsureness maybe this comes in as like maybe someone in like your close circles like you would know this though this is not i don't want you in to feed like the thought process of like a leo needing to wander about the hidden motives of people in their lives you would know who this devil is right this would be like your friend and me this should be like this person who never has you feeling good about yourself who like you would tell the news to and be like oh hey i actually made the audition for this broadway show or just being like oh hey this publishing company actually picked up my book like whatever insert whatever it is for you here this devil would be the one that would be like, oh, are you sure you'd be able to handle it or whatever? I'm trying to instill that doubt in you. Whatever, wherever this, I feel like this is the card of just doubt. Whatever is instilling that doubt in you, Leo, you need to address it because that's going to be what stops you um, from really being able to lean into this opportunity uh, more for you, Leo. So really look out for that. Um, and now, Leo, let's just see let's see now i kind of i know we already had like talk about the blessing we are kind of already addressed like those blessings right something being revealed to you but i kind of want to see like how do we like best set you up for those blessings right we talk about like addressing those insecurities right but how can we have this uh get closer how can we rush this along for you right because it does you no good, uh, Leo, to hear about it all without knowing how to get there, right? You can be told about the treasure at the end, but if you're not presented with the treasure, like the map, then it's just like, well, what, right? So, Eight of Cups, Three of Cups, the, the Devil card, <laughs> uh, Empress card, huh. So obviously you guys probably noticed my hesitation here, Leo, because I was kind of shocked to see that devil card come in uh, again for y'all. But it's not, I wasn't shocked because it came in again. It was more so shocked about uh, this dynamic because now I was saying before, Leo, I didn't want to instill some doubt for you guys. And I still don't. Like, again, I still feel very strongly with this devil. Like, this is not, this is in plain sight, honey. Like, this is in complete plain sight. Or maybe, I guess I might have to take that back as well, because you have that moon card, so something being revealed. So maybe the devil beast is, ends up being revealed this week for you guys, right? Hmm. Because then you have the eight of cups as well. And the moon still is a present in here, if you'll notice in this card where it's like you're having to walk away, right? So let's just, and with the three of cups as well, this signifies like a third party energy. So in all of this, really, in this dynamic, this is such a heavy hitting, oh, you guys got all heavy, heavy hitting cards and heavy hitting messages, Leo. <laughs> this is very much so a dynamic of where it's just like uh, walking away from something that just no longer is of service to you that's just been weighing you down. But I feel like this is something that's just been instilling doubt in you from that would like hold, that's been holding you back from really living out your highest potential, right? As the Empress card coming in here, I really do get this sense of someone that's just like something suppressing you from fully seeing yourself as this Empress. That's I don't know. It's just interesting <laughs> to have this message come through because it's just such a painting such a scenario where it's just like you guys have someone in your close circle that just constantly is feeding such a heavy energy into your situation that really stops you from your growth it just feels like every step of the way you just always hear someone having something snarky to say it's weird um hmm. very interesting messages leo but yeah, now let's just close out this reading for you, Leo, just to see what stone would be best for my Leos this week to be working with. What stone or crystal should my Leos be working with this week? Let's see here. You got... Oh, you guys got two stones, actually. I'm um, gonna be honest, I have no idea what either of these stones are. I didn't even know either of them were a thing until right now. So I'm gonna just say right off the bat, Leo, look at the properties of them both. <laughs> I'll hold them up so you can see the names of them. But uh, you guys got the Seraphos Green Quartz, Seraphos Green Quartz, so you can see the spelling, as well as a, a green, a green, a green. Uh, 
both of them, I think, are green stone. Oh, no, they're not both green. I'm colorblind, honey. But uh, look up these stones, look up the properties of them, see how they correlate in your life this week, Leo. And also let me know in the comments below what these stones' properties are, because I've never heard of these stones until right now. And I would be interested in hearing about it. But... Yeah, Leo, that is the tarot cards that I have for you for this weekly reading. If you enjoyed this weekly reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards resonated with you. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. Uh, Leo, as well, I do weekly readings for all the zodiac signs, Leo. So if you have a friend that's into tarot, or even if they're not into tarot, uh, Leo, I would really appreciate it if you were to send my video to them. So maybe they'll find a tarot message that resonates with them as well. But until next time, Leo, I love you so much.